Hey guys! Today we're going over everything there is to know about a popular class of antibiotics called penicillins in less than 5 minutes. Make sure you stick around to the end as we review some mnemonics and memorization tips to help you retain the information for exams. So if you're ready, let's color and learn. Penicillins are one of the oldest and most prescribed antibiotics in the world, but did you know it was discovered by accident? A researcher named Alexander Fleming came back from vacation and discovered a mold growing on a Staphylococcus culture plate. Upon examination of the mold, he noticed that the culture prevented the growth of Staphylococci, a gram-positive bacteria. But why am I telling you this? Well, because I want you to remember that penicillins have excellent gram-positive coverage such as Staphylococci. Think penicillin start with P for excellent gram positive coverage. The drugs in this class are super easy to spot because they all end in the suffix cillin, such as penicillin, amoxicillin, ampicillin, and piperacillin. Some of the brand names hint at the fact that penicillins are combined with the beta lactamase inhibitor, such as Augmin is augmented by clavulanate, and Unison is united with Sobactam, and Zosin is synchronized with Tazobactam. But what is a beta lactamase inhibitor anyways? Beta lactamases are enzymes produced by bacteria that open up the beta lactam rings in antibiotics such as penicillins, and it makes it less effective. Adding on a beta lactamase inhibitor prevents this from occurring and also provides additional anaerobic coverage. Aside from that, piperacillin tazobactam also has coverage for a bad resistant gram-negative bacteria called Pseudomonas. Think of the P in piperacillin tazobactam as standing for Pseudomonas. Know this. This class of antibiotics is used to treat a variety of bacterial infections including pneumonia, cellulitis, and urinary tract infections. The choice of penicillin antibiotic to use depends on what we are treating and if our choice of penicillin covers the bacteria associated with that infection. This takes time and practice, so don't feel overwhelmed with trying to memorize what each penicillin covers right now, but let's just keep going. All right, some contraindications and precautions to keep in mind. Allergic reactions can be reported with penicillin antibiotics. It's important to review the patient's allergies before prescribing. Most of the drugs in this class require renal dose adjustments, so you want to be cautious in patients with renal impairment. Augment has been shown to also cause cholestatic hepatitis that is reversible. So how do penicillin antibiotics work? Penicillins are also called beta-lactam antibiotics. Why? Well, because they have a four-member ring in their chemical structure. This ring binds onto penicillin-binding proteins in the bacterial cell wall, blocking cross-linking and inhibiting bacterial cell wall synthesis. Because of this, the bacterial cell walls become weak and lice, leading to bacterial cell death. Some of the penicillin antibiotics are formulated with what again? Yes, beta-lactamase inhibitors such as clavulanate or tazobactam to help inhibit the activity of beta-lactamases from breaking open the beta-lactam ring and stopping penicillin antibiotics from working. Alright, let's move on to side effects. The most common side effects with penicillin antibiotics are GI related or allergic reactions. A great way to visualize and remember this is imagine a penny telling you her name is Penny Silly and she can cause nasty diarrhea if ingested. However, I don't recommend you swallow a penny to test this theory out. The mnemonic nasty diarrhea stands for N is for nausea, so let's call her in this N looking nauseous. A is for abdominal pain. S is for skin rash or seizures that can occur with high doses, especially in patients with renal impairment. I'm coloring this S as though it's shaking with seizures and itching all over. T is for throat closes to remind you of allergic reactions such as anaphylaxis. And D is for diarrhea as taking penicillin antibiotics can disrupt the normal GI flora and lead to the side effect of diarrhea. 
Last, let's review some clinical pearls counseling points. As with any antibiotic, you want to educate patients to complete the full course of therapy, even if symptoms resolve. If a patient is prescribed a suspension, counsel them to shake the suspension to ensure all the drug is dispersed evenly in the solution prior to administration. Most of the penicillin antibiotics can be taken with food if upset stomach occurs, such as amoxicillin. All right, are you guys ready? Let's see how much you've learned by going over these review questions. What is the generic for augmentin? That's right, amoxicillin clavulanate. Remember, it is augmented by a lactamase inhibitor called clavulanate. Which penicillin covers pseudomonas? Yes, piperacillin tazobactam or brand name Zosin covers pseudomonas. Think of the P in piperacillin as standing also for the P in pseudomonas. What is the mechanism of action of this drug? Remember, this class is also called beta-lactam antibiotics. So the beta-lactam ring binds to penicillin binding proteins and prevents bacterial cell wall cross-linking, leading to weak cell wall and bacterial death. What are the side effects? As with most antibiotics, it causes GI side effects and allergic type reactions. So recall our mnemonic, nasty diarrhea. What are some counseling points? You wanna make sure the patient completes the whole what? Yes, the whole course and take it with food and if it upsets their stomach. All right guys, that's it for today. If you found this helpful, click that subscribe button for more. Let me know if you have questions in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And remember to never stop having fun while you learn. If you're interested in getting more information from our Top 200 Dress Made Easy Coloring Book, I'll leave a link to the product below in the description and I'll see you in the next video.